안녕하세요. I think we are live. 반갑습니다. 안녕하세요. Welcome back to Talk to me in Korean. I'm very happy to see you all. 안녕하세요. So please, let's start by checking if you can hear me well and see me well. 여러분, 잘 보이세요? So if you can hear me well or see me well, you can say 잘 보여요. I can see you well or it can be anything. I can see you well. Which literally means you are well seen. It's in the passive voice. 잘, 잘 들려요. I can hear you well. Or uh, in a more literal translation, you are heard well. You are well heard. Okay, so study with Kelly actually wrote this compound sentence, which is great. I'm going to actually take a screenshot and feature it over here. 잘 보이고 잘 들려요. A great sentence. So, 잘 보이고 잘 들려서 다행이에요. Okay, let me just do that again. Um, so, 잘 보이고 잘 들려요. So, all right, let's get started. Today, um, we are going to talk about commonly used Korean sentence patterns. So, in a different wording, um, it will be sentence structures that you can use in the Korean language as a learner. So, let's see who's here. 안녕하세요. Uh, wow, so many people were actually early, like waiting for the live class to begin. And while we, you were waiting, Kristin actually joined the Talk To Me In Korean YouTube membership. So thank you for joining the Talk To Me In Korean 좋아해요 membership. Um, Genesis, Kiwi, My Angel, Jongdae, Ren Poili, Maham, Study With Kelly, Paulina, Kiyosi, NK, Min Jeon, Kim, um, Mie, Yo, Stephanie, Jasmine, Mark C, and many, many, many people. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. What time is it over there? Um, it's currently 11 a.m. So this month in the April, a uh, month of April of 2023, we are going to do um, regular live classes at different times of the day to accommodate more and more people. So thank you for joining today. Okay, 오늘 그러면 공부를 같이 해 볼까요? Let's study together. So I am checking various screens to see everything's if uh, if everything's all right. Um, oh, 그리고 Rusty, I see your comment over here. 지금 강화도에 있어요. Oh, 지금은 강화도에 있어요. Let me just. Uh, 지금은, you can say, um, 지, just 지금 강화도에 있어요. I am in 강화도. 강화도 is an area of Korea that's not too far away from Seoul. Um, I, oh, are you traveling? I hope you have a good time. 네, 좋아요. Uh, you're visiting. Awesome. So, um, how is everything going? For us, thanks for asking, Chloe. We are doing really well. Uh, always busy as usual. Um, yeah, we've, ever since the launch of Talk to Me in Korean in 2009, which was 14 years ago, we've never been not busy. Uh, but we are getting busier and busier with everything. We have lots of uh, a lot of things that we want to share with you in the future this year. So please stay on the lookout for that. And today the topic is commonly used Korean sentence patterns. And when you learn, let me explain a little bit about what I mean by this. So um, when learning Korean as a learner, there can be many elements that you have to tackle, right? You have to learn and memorize and remember vocabulary. Also, you need to work on listening comprehension because many sounds are going to be new to you and also um, like many words will be pronounced differently from what you would expect just by looking at the text information. And you also have to work on grammar because obviously Korean grammar is going to be different from the grammar structure of many languages. So you will have to learn and memorize many things and practice. And I think one of the most important things for a learner to do is 
go from acquiring a new piece of information, a, pe a new piece of knowledge, to actually using it, putting it to use as quickly as possible. And it doesn't mean just because you used something once doesn't mean that you will remember it forever. It'll be just engraved in your brain or in your genes forever. It takes multiple attempts and multiple um, forgetting experiences and then you will be like, ah, oh, what was it? I've, I've used it before, I've said it before. So you have to do that often. And one thing that can help you do that really efficiently is sentence patterns. Yeah. So, hi, Jerim 선생님. Jerim 선생님 is here. Jerim is here. 안녕하세요. <laughs> uh, here is Jerim, the evidence that she was here. Yeah, go check out her stuff too. She has been doing lots of um, teaching as well as uh, course creation. So you recently launched a new course, I know. So everyone, check out Jerim. Check out her courses and she said, I agree, use them, use them, use them. Yeah, the sentence patterns, sentences, sentence structures, new expressions, always use them. So you learn one piece of Korean grammar, like, so I, for example, one way to say I think is, so you learn with our curriculum or other te textbooks, I think in Korean is so and so. 은것 같아요 or 는것 같아요 or if it's a verb you say 인것 같아요 etc. So this is a grammar point, right? And then if you want to use it as soon as possible, as quickly as possible, the best way to do that is to make your own sample sentences because you can't wait until you randomly meet somebody who can who you can speak to in Korean, right? So you form new sentences and that's exactly what we're gonna do um, using today's book. Um, 1,100 short and useful Korean phrases. So I'm going to be taking some really commonly used Korean sentence patterns from our book. 1,100 Korean uh, short and useful Korean phrases for beginners. This is going to be really useful for a lot of beginner learners as well as intermediate learners who want to review. So what you do is you form one sentence. For example, 이거 좋은 것 같아요. Okay, I think it's good. So if this is like too advanced for you right now, don't worry, we'll break things down. We'll break down every sentence that we form together. So I think this is good. Whether you formed this sentence on your own and checked for its correctness through say AI based websites or um, your teacher or uh, anything that you're using, you checked that it's good, right? and you know that you can use it, then don't stop there. Take it to the next level by tweaking it a little bit, tweaking it a little bit, making variations based on this. So you said that 이거 좋은 것 같아요. Then you can make this part replaceable. So uh, 저거 좋은 것 같아요. I think that's good. So let's practice doing this as our first practice together. I think you are already doing that. <laughs> and um, here, A, V, S, H, S, J already wrote, 그 사람이 좋은 것 같아요. 그 사람이 좋은 것 같아요. So um, I would say as a more general sentence, I would suggest 그 사람 좋은 것 같아요. As a more generally, uh, acceptable sentence, 그 사람 좋은 것 같아요. I think that person is good. I think that person is a nice person. 그 사람 이 좋은 것 같아요. If you use the subject marker, you become, you sound a little more specific as to who's, who's good, who's good, who's a good candidate for this job. 그 사람이 좋은 것 같아요. Or your friend likes someone and you're talking to another friend of yours, like, um, who does she like? 그 사람이 좋은 것 같아요. So you're like specific, specifying who is um, the good person. But other than that, it's a very good sentence. Oh. 
here. 그곳이 좋은 것 같아요. 그곳이 좋은 것 같아요. Okay. 그곳. 그곳. 곳 is place. Right? Place. And you just write it as like this. Write it like this without space because it's so, so, it's so commonly used. 그곳 is that place. That place, I think, is good. 그리고 또 어떤 게 있죠? 아하, 이 책이 좋은 것 같아요. 이 책이 좋은 것 같아요. Hmm. So, again, 이 책이 좋은 것 같아요. 이책 좋은 것 같아요. 이 책은 좋은 것 같아요. They are all correct and natural. They just serve different purposes. So, let me explain that. And if you make a sentence and if your um, sentence is not featured, if I don't under, uh, introduce your sentence, I'm sorry, but I will try to accommodate as many um, sample sentences that you make as possible. So, 이 책, 좋은 것 같아요, is the shortest one, and you are omitting the subject marker or the topic marker, the topic marker itself, because you want to make it as general as possible. 이 책이 좋은 것 같아요. 책 is a book. 책, 책, 한 권, one book, 책, 한 권. Um, that's a counter for books. And 이 책이 좋은 것 같아요 means um, which book is good, I think? I think this one. It is this one that I think is good. 이 책은 좋은 것 같아요 means in, usually in contrast to other things. Like that book is so-so, but 이 책은 좋은 것 같아요. And then if you want to be more general about it, just drop the markers, the particles, and say, 이책 좋은 것 같아요. So, aha. Thank you, um, Song Yi Song, for writing this lovely sentence. 현우 님이 좋은 선생님인 것 같아요. Okay. A variation, 현우, 선생, 현우 님이 좋은 선생님인 것 같아요. So, 것 같아요 or 인것 같아요 is I think so and so is and you can in spoken Korean or colloquial writing also you can say 거 같아요 좋은 선생님 인것 같아요 I think Hyunwoo is a good teacher thank you I think Hyunwoo is a good teacher too and um, a little bit of spelling suggestion before 님 you have to have a spelling 님 although in this case 선생님 it's a set word and you don't have um, a space between 선생 and 님. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whenever you write a compliment about me or talk to me in Korean as your sample sentence, you are going to be pinned over here, featured. 네, 그리고 아, Jerem wrote 이런 수업 너무 좋은 것 같아요. 이런 수업, 이런 수업. I'm literally analyzing and <laughs> like um, judging a Korean teacher's Korean sentence. 이런 수업, this kind of class. 너무, very, 좋은 것 같아요. I think it's good. So, to your sentence, I give you 10 points out of 10. So, yeah. You're officially very good at Korean, writing Korean sentences. Hmm. So this is exactly what you need to do. Every time you learn a new grammar point, and maybe like new sample sentences that you see can be turn, turned into 10 um, Korean sentences. So for example, over here, if you can see it well, at the back of our book, this Sentence pattern is featured. 혹시 so and so 예요? Can you see it well? 혹시 yeah. Come on, autofocus work. So yeah. <laughs> 혹시 so and so 예요? By any chance is it? Or by any chance are you? And then we have example sentences like 혹시 이거 예요? By any chance is this thing that you are mentioning? 혹시 여기에요? By any chance, is this is it this place? 혹시 학생이에요? By any chance, are you a student? Is he a student? And you can keep going like that until you... Is the focus back on me? Yes. 
until you run out of ideas. This is something that I used to do all the time um, whenever I wanted to learn new languages. And the more it's, it, this applies to everything, but the more I did this practice with a certain language, the better I am at it. So I did this more with English than I did this with my Spanish. So obviously my English is better because I can make better than my Spanish because I can make sentences more flexibly, more readily. Um, yeah, okay. And then I have this question. So keep your questions coming. I uh, will also allocate a little bit of time toward the end of this live class today for Q and A's. A couple questions before we move on to the next one because if we scroll up, it'll, the questions will be gone. How do I buy these uh, 1,100 word books? This, there's this one book in this series. We didn't make a sequel yet. Um, you can actually open the description of this live feed right below the video and see a link right there. And you will see two links in the description. One link is to our general bookstore page and the second link is on um, for the book itself, okay? And we're also conveniently for you, you uh, good timing, we're having a sale on our books and our subscription, so go check it out. And then here, Matilda asked this question, random question, but did you meet the Korean Englishman? And if so, how was it? You can actually go to their second channel, Jolie, and see our books featured in many of their Only Learns Korean series and I'm actually in their videos. Uh, I think I appeared in three of their videos so you can look for me over there uh, on their channels. So yeah, they're great people, uh, really, really amazing uh, guys and good friends of mine. So go check out their videos too. And also, okay. Um, I have another question from, okay, Kosul. Um, another question from my TH. How is this cut different from Kosul? So we looked at this sentence pattern as our first practice. We have, I have a lot of other sentence patterns to introduce really soon, right away after this. Uh, so this was the first pattern that we practiced with together, 좋은 것 같아요, right? So 좋은 것 can mean a good thing, but in this case, it means the fact that it is good or that it is good. So 좋은 것 같아요, and therefore, you don't need any marker, any particle between 것 and 같아요 because 같아요, so and so 같아요, noun 같아요, in itself, it means it's like so-and-so, so-and-so. 학생 같아요, it's like a student. You touch something without looking, it, it feels like tofu, tubu 같아요, etc., etc. So 것 같아요, you don't need anything between 것 and 같아요. But 것을, this is a different kind of usage. You can form so-and-so 것 in many different ways, and then 을, and then use it as a, because it's an object marker, use the whole previous portion as your object. So, 것을 알고 있어요. I know so and so. I know that you, you did so and so. Uh, and then, 것을 좋아해요. 좋아해요. I like the act of doing so and so. So, this 것을 is a different element that can be used in a different kind of context. So, that's my answer for now. So if I don't answer your question right now, please keep your question, copy it somewhere else, copy it and paste it somewhere else to save it for later in this live class, okay? Let's move on to the next portion, which is where I want to briefly introduce you the table of contents for this book. Like, so even if it's not this book that you study with, even if you have a different kind of sentence pattern book, uh, I don't think there's many that you can choose from in the Korean book market in general. So if you go to the 
Kyobo Bookstore. Kyobo Mungo is the officially the biggest uh, bookstore chain in Korea, I think, and the biggest physical storefront that you can go to in Gwanghwamun, and there's one in Gangnam too. Many, many of the books that you will see in the Books on Korea section will be our books because we've published a lot. But if you choose another sentence pattern book, the same applies to your practice. So, for example, um, if you go to the table of contents page right here, um, so this book has 1,100 books. Uh, 11, not, you know, this book doesn't have 1,100 books, 1,100 sentences. But each chapter, each small chapter, is going to be about one major sentence pattern. So there will be 100 patterns in total, so not too much for a beginner learner or a low intermediate learner, which I'm sure many of you are. Um, and you can make 11 different sentences using one pattern. So for example, let me actually just quickly, um, yeah, expand it like that, zoom in. So we have patterns like, this is, can you see me well? Can you see, can you see the uh, text well? Is it big enough for you? I hope you can read it well. So, yeah, um, this is, so and so is 친구 예요. And pattern number one and two are related because, so I'm going to actually quickly go over all the patterns, uh, maybe 30, 40 of them, and give you an idea of how you can study. So you can either pick up a book like this and study with these patterns that are listed and organized for you, which will save you time. Or if you want to study with something else like a Korean drama or a movie or other books or novels, you can just um, train yourself to pick out these pattern elements. So you're like seeing 친구 예요, uh, so and so 예요, here and there. You're like, okay, this is a pattern. I'm going to practice with it and I'm, I'm going to get really good at it, really comfortable with this. So you practice and then here, let's um, pick out the patterns here. Pattern two is 책 예요, the only difference between the two is going to be um, the noun ending with a consonant or without a consonant, right? So let me actually type over here. Number one is 친구 예요. Number two is, what was it? Yeah, 책 예요. So here, 예요. 책 예요. 예요 and 예요 both mean so and so is or are 친구예요. It's a friend, it's a book. And number three is going to be 아니에요, right? 아니에요. 이거 아니에요. 이거 아니에요. It's not this, 이거 아니에요. So you can say, for example, uh, I don't have the image for you over here, but I'm going to quickly read it. 선물 아니에요. So, 친구 아니에요. That's not my friend. 선물 아니에요. Um, that's not a present. 쓰레기 아니에요. That's not trash. That's not garbage. 나쁜 사람 아니에요. That's not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. 제 가방 아니에요. So, that's not my bag. So, you can keep going like that. And as you do this, one tip is always um, do not make just random sentences that you wouldn't probably end up saying. Make sentences that you will say yourself to real people in your life. So um, you saw, you know, even our books are great, I think, but even in our books, if you see something like this, 나쁜 사람 아니에요, and you think about it for, you know, a couple seconds, and you're like, when am I ever going to say 나쁜 사람 아니에요 in my entire life. When am I ever going to say that to anyone? If the answer is not really, not in like 50 years, just forget about this sentence and turn it into something that you will say. So you can even say, oh, I, I, I will probably say to my friend, 이상한 사람 아니에요, 좋은 사람 아니에요, 
something, something like that, you can turn a less relevant sentence into a more relevant sentence. Okay? All right, let's move on to another one. So you have uh, 시간 있어요, 시간 없어요 over here. Number four, 시간 있어요, 시간 없어요. Yeah, 있어요, 없어요. So you see uh, in the book, things that you have, 시간 있어요, 돈 있어요, 질문 있어요. I have a question, 고민 있어요. I have a concern, and then you can turn everything into the opposite side, like 시간 없어요, 돈 없어요, 문제 없어요, I have no problems, 친구 없어요, I have no friends, like that, okay? So, let's um, pick up the pace a little bit. Hmm. Um, 민 전, 김, 제책 아니에요. Yeah, that's a really good sentence, 제책 아니에요. Here, using this pattern over here, pattern number three of our book, 제책 아니에요. This is not my book. Like that. Very good sentence. You can put 이거 제책 아니에요 in front of it, 이거 uh, in front of it and say 이거 제책 아니에요. 저거 제책 아니에요. This is not my book. That's not my book. And then pattern number six is um, 주세요. Give me this, 이거 주세요. So you can ask for many things. Please give me. 물 주세요. 커피 주세요. 이거 뭐예요? What is this? What is so and so? So, let me write over here. Um, 이거 주세요. 이거 뭐예요? Like that. 주세요. 뭐예요? 주먹밥 주세요. 용돈 주세요. Great. So, automatically saying something new, something novel, based on what you see, it's going to be a great habit to have. And the more quickly you can form new sentences right on the spot, the better you're going to be. So, 용돈. You know 용돈, everyone? 용돈 주세요. Hmm. 주먹밥. 주먹밥 is a fun word, I think. 주먹밥. What's the best way to say 주먹밥 in English? 주먹밥. 용돈 is, 용 means, yes, use, to use, 용, and 돈 is money, so 용돈 is spending money, so like if you make your own money, it's not gonna uh, be applied, but if you're a student and you're getting money from your parents, you can say 용돈 to, to spend, 용돈 주세요, pocket money. And 주먹밥, how do you, how do you best describe uh, 주먹밥? 주먹 is your fist, so 주먹, 주먹. Yeah, it's, I think it's a rice ball, yeah. 주먹밥 is fist, rice. So you, you need your hand to make a fist, like kind of shape, in order to form rice balls. Um, rice ball itself, I think the ex English expression is also cute. 쌀. No, or pop, popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. I think I need to tell my boys they will, they're gonna love this. They really love like these like cheesy, corny uh, jokes. Uh, popcorn. <laughs> Balls made with rice. That's funny, but I think rice in the shape or the size of a fist, that's also funny. Chumokpap. <laughs> okay. So we were up to pattern number seven, and then you can also go to 꿈이 뭐예요, 취미가 뭐예요, adding a subject in front of it, and expand your sentences like that. And then 혹시, this was featured on the back cover of our page, like I showed you earlier, right? 혹시 이거예요? By any chance, is it so and so? And then pattern number 11 is 학교에 가요. Um, I agree with timeless 9492. Pop Kong doesn't sound very appetizing. Yeah. Um, I, I would rather eat something that ends with pop at the end, like so and so pop, than so and so kong. 
it all, I can all already almost taste some rubber in my mouth just by saying this. And um, oh, thank you for this comment and comments from one person, Fletcher Graham. Hyunwoo, I'm studying level eight at the moment. I love the books you and your team make. They are so helpful. Thank you so much. And actually, I need to turn it back on like this. Yeah, um, pop, popcorn sounds like popcorn. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> popcorn. Um, speaking of something that sounds like something else, uh, my wife and I laughed really hard the other day because my son, my um, little one, his name is Yul, and he, so he's kindergarten, Yuchiwon, his kindergarten um, came up with this idea of having the kids grow a radish, mu, mu. And it can also be, it used to be written like this, mu, because it, it's supposed to have a long vowel, mu, mu, so radish. So as you know, kaktugi, radish, kimchi, kaktugi is made of, you know, made with radish, right? So mu is radish, this vegetable. And they asked the kids to plant a radish in a flower pot and see the radish grow and the flowers bloom. So the radish itself, it's, it's a root, so it doesn't become big or you can't see it, but it produces a really, really pretty flower. 꽃이 정말 예뻐요. 무꽃 보셨어요? 무꽃? Have you seen a radish flower? It's really pretty. It's, it's got like uh, nice colors. So anyway, and um, my son, he often talks about how pretty the flower is and he often asks me to check. And then, 무 보세요. 무 봐 will be um, how to say, look at the radish, right? And then when you ask somebody to do something, you can add a little word, which is 조금 or 좀. 조금 or 좀. 이거 도와줘. 나 도와줘. Help me in casual language. 나 도와줘. Or you can say 나좀 도와줘. 좀 originally means a little, a bit, but it's a very good softener of requests. 나좀 도와줘. 나좀 도와줘. And then he said, um, 무좀 봐. And he was talking to uh, her, my wife, his mom, so he, he was using 반말, casual language. 엄마, 내무좀 봐. He was saying this, but he didn't pronounce this word with a long vowel. He actually said it with a short vowel and put this together really quickly. 내무좀 봐. 내무좀 봐. 무좀 is athlete's foot. <laughs> so you know what it means, right? Um, it's athlete's foot. And children don't often develop athlete's feet. Their feet are really clean, right? They don't <laughs> have any problem with feet. And as he was saying this, he wasn't, wasn't even next to the radish. He was literally, he had literally just come home and he thought of it. He remembered to tell mom to look at his radish flower and he was just taking off his clothes. His bag was being put down and he was taking off his socks. So exactly as he was saying, 엄마 내무좀 봐. He was imagining pointing at the balcony, but he wasn't pointing because he was busy taking off his socks. <laughs> Imagine the surprise on us. You have mujom? And I was like, oh, come on. Um, we should help him wash his feet more cleanly. But then we ran to see his mujom, but there was no mujom. He was like, mujom ba. So, omma ne mujom ba. Mu should be long vowel, right? Imagine a six-year-old developing athlete's feet due to harsh conditions. Um, but then, yeah, so we were scared for three seconds. So, yeah, um, thanks to Fletcher who said that papgong, rice ball, literally translated to papgong, 
You don't say p a p g o n g in Korean. You say c h u m o k b a p and that's thanks to your sentence, uh, my th. And this is fun, right? You can often work with your own sentences, your own ideas, and then expand further and further. One drawback, the only drawback of this kind of approach is that you deviate too often, and you sometimes have a hard time finishing one mini chapter because you were like having so much fun looking up new words and like forming new sentences. But I think it's more efficient that way. If you can remember to come back to the original point that you left off, um, yeah, I agree that um, that's a good reason to remember that it's a long vowel mu. So mu, mu. You often don't get to put mu and t o m together. It's a very rare. <laughs> Occurrence, but it did occur. This was like literally two days ago. <laughs> you know, imagine how quickly my wife and I exchanged stares. What? All right. Um, oh yes. Um, Eka asked this question. So the word can have a different meaning if you make it short or long. This is going to be a different topic, a new topic for a different video that I will make in the future, but. Yes, um, this is already incorporated into every word recording, voice recording that we offer. Like, so if you hear us pronouncing a word, it's going to be in the exact short or long vowel length that word should have. But there can be many examples like pol, pol, like pol and pol. Long vowel pol is. Um, punishment, p a l is a bee, uh, the insect bee, right? Yeah, there are many examples like that. But at first, for beginner learners, it's okay to um, noon and noon. What else? Lots of words. Um, but at first, you don't have to worry for now. Okay, so let's go back to the book. So there are 100 sentence patterns in the book, 100 mini chapters that you can study uh, one each day, and then there will be 11 um, sentences that you can see variations of. So let's move on to the next page, which is going to be. Let me just quickly check. All right, here. Yep. How do I make this page big? Yep, like that. Pattern number 12 is 집에 있어요. I'm going to actually um, skip typing it out for you because that'll save time. So you can see something is at somewhere. 집에 있어요. And 어디에 있어요? So 화장실 어디에 있어요? If you understood the structure of this sentence, you can also use your imagination or your um, everyday, I guess, situations as a um, material to form new sentences with. So 화장실 어디에 있어요? 리모컨 어디에 있어요? Where's the TV remote? Uh, cup 어디에 있어요? Where are the cups? Um, 전화기 어디에 있어요? Where is the phone? Etc. Etc. Pattern number 14, 집에 가는 길이에요. You can say, I'm on my way to my home. Oh, 고양이 어디에 있어요? Yeah, cats are always difficult to find at first, like, you know, when you go home, especially as a guest. I don't have cats, but my sister does. So every time I go there, I, I don't see the cats immediately. 고양이들 어디에 있어? I can say that. And 집에 가는 길이에요. I am on my way to 집. 사무실에 가는 길이에요. I am on my way to the office. 에 가는 길이에요. And 공원에 가는 길이에요. Um, 공원. I'm on my way to the park. Uh, yeah, you can keep going like that. And timeless 9492 said 예지 선생님은 어디에 있어요? That's a good. Um, sentence. 예지 선생님은 어디에 있어요? Yeah. 
Yeji is over there in the other room. We were um, in the middle of a meeting and we were actually having a meeting with uh, five members. I was one of them and I, ha I had this. So I came out of the meeting, you know, snuck out of the meeting and I'm doing this with you guys. And like three other members were also going to do. So it's a long meeting, idea meeting. And I think Yeji might be alone in the other room. So, 사무실에 있어요. 저쪽 저 방에 있어요. In that room. 다른 회의실에 있어요. 회의실 is a meeting room. So when you diversify your sentences using the main sentence pattern like this, 어디에 있어요? You can actually diversify your answers um, right away because that's a natural occurrence. Right? And then, 생일이 언제예요? 생일이 언제예요? When is the birthday? Your birthday. 축제는 언제예요? When is as for so and so? So we're um, differentiating between so and so, 이 or 가 언제예요? And so and so, 은, so and so, 는 언제예요? That, that's uh, it's related to the difference between 은는 and 이가. So we have pattern 17, 벌써 so and so 예요. And actually, let's look at one mini chapter together in detail and study a little bit. So here, what do I have? Let me quickly check and see. For example, we have many more. And let's use this one. So and so 어때요? This is pattern 22. Um, this might, might be a review for you if you've studied with this already. This is on page 66 of our book over here. Right? 어때요? The same. So let's form lots of so and so 어때요 sentences together. Okay? So for those of you who just came in, this is our book called 1100 Short and Useful Korean Phrases for Beginners. And there's only one book um, under this title. So you can pick that up by clicking on the link in the description for this live video. Also, if you're watching this as a recording, that's also fine too. You can pick up the book and study, or like I said in the, in the beginning of this live feed, you can be you can do this with any book that you have. So so and so 어때요? If you can make a new sentence and type in the chat box. If you don't have ideas for new sentences that you want to share with us, just repeat after me. So first, repeat after everything I say really quickly and in the same exact intonation that I use. 이거 어때요? How about this? 이거 어때요? I'm imagining you listening and repeating after me, okay? How about this? 이거 어때요? 이거 어때요? 커피 어때요? 커피 어때요? How about some coffee? 커피 어때요? And 내일 어때요? So you are like coming up with ideas for a day. 음, 내일 어때요? 내일, 내일. 내일 어때요? 이옷 어때요? Literally point at your clothes right now, okay? Do it with me. 이옷 어때요? 이옷 어때요? 이옷 어때요? So you see that 이 and 옷, that 옷 part is kind of connected to 어때요? You don't say 이옷 어때요? You say 이옷 어때요? So you, you hear a slight 디귿 there. 이옷 어때요? 이옷 어때요? And then 이런 장갑 어때요? Do this with your hands too, if you can. 이 장갑 어때요? 이 장갑 어때요? Alright? 저기 어때요? 저기 어때요? You have to do 저기 if it's far. If it's the farther it is, the longer you say 저, 저기 어때요? Or if it's even farther, 저기 어때요? If your eyesight is that good. Um, 박물관 어때요? How about a museum is 박물관 어때요? 박물관 어때요? Where should we go? 박물관 어때요? 
and then we are adding another element here. 선물로. 선물로 is as a present. For present. So, 선물로 장미꽃 어때요? 선물로 장미꽃 어때요? So, next week is my wife's birthday. So, somebody can say to me, 선물로 장미꽃 어때요? For real, right? 선물로 장미꽃 어때요? Alright, so let's take a look at your own sample sentences. Here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, this is a good one. <laughs> so, <clears throat> 날씨 어때요? So, um, so and so 어때요 is, in this case, when you are suggesting something, suggesting an idea. How about doing this? How about that? If you say 날씨 어때요, in general um, situations, it will be how is the weather, right? So it's going to be a different kind of purpose. But um, if you want to um, claim, argue that, oh, this should fit in this context, you can argue that 날씨 is a, is a topic here. You can argue it like that. Oh. So what should we talk about? Should we talk about culture, 문화? Should we talk about um, 지리, geography? or something like that, and then you say, hmm, how about the weather? How about talking about the weather? 날씨 어때요? You know, you're suggesting it as a topic. And we see lots of really good sample sentences. Here. Uh, 그 책이 어때요? Oh, this is a similar kind of situation. 그 책이 어때요 will be, um, how is the book? Right? Not. How about that book? Why don't we use that book? It's not a suggestion in this case, but a good sentence nevertheless. 그 책이 어때요? Will, again, it'll mean only, how is the book? How do you like that book? And then the third one, 이 책 어때요? Yeah, that will work. How about this book? The fourth sentence, wow, this is great. Like, many people are actually going through similar situations. 오늘 기분 어때요? will only mean how are you feeling today? Not like, how about this? How about that? Mm -hmm. 이 가방 어때요? How is this book? Uh, how, is this, how is this bag? How about this bag? Okay, lots of really good sentences. Uh, 회식으로 케이크 어때요? This is my team's kind of 회식 food. 회식으로 케이크 어때요? <laughs> you know, 회식 is group dinner, company dinner, and 회식, the word itself in Korean culture um, has some kind of notoriety, like it's notorious for being very forceful and stressful. But these days, it's changing. Not many 회식s are that stressful in many organizations, including our own, so 회식 it's a good opportunity, excuse to eat lots of like delicious things together. Maybe drink a little bit if they want. Okay. All right, good sentences. Um, here I have a question that I want to briefly address. I don't know if I can give a good answer, but it's an important question. I work for Koreans in the US and it's a big language barrier. What should I do to have a better conversation? Well, it depends on your current level of Korean. Um, if you can already have conversations with them, you just have to have more conversations, um, have more opportunities to engage in conversations. If you don't, um, for example, if you can't Converse naturally, I think the only way to do is, uh, yeah, only way to do that is by studying. Mm. Yeah, just start small with like simple conversations. Okay, so the, ne the next one, let's move on to more patterns. So on the next page, we see um, some more advanced 
sentence is 직접 만드는 거 어때요? So before it was a noun plus 어때요? Usually noun 어때요? How about that? But you can also use a verb uh, by turning it into 는거 어때요? Like that, 직접 만드는 거 어때요? So maybe buying a cake or buying a bouquet of flowers, you can say how about just making it on your own, making it yourself. 직접 만드는 거 어때요? 한번 가보는 거 어때요? How about trying going there? How about going there? 한번 가보는 거 어때요? So that's also um, following the sentence pattern. And in our book, the 11th sentence of uh, all of the mini chapters is going to be a little bit of a quirky twist. So it's going to be a strange sentence in other words. So yeah, 김치 커피 어때요? How about kimchi coffee? Um, yeah, I, I would pass on that. Hmm. So, the, this was actually my idea to <laughs> let's add a strange sentence at the end, something that you will probably not say, but maybe stimulate some imagination. So, everybody has a quirky side and everybody wants to say random things like that are funny from time to time. So, make sentences that don't make a lot of sense but still will be fun to remember that'll help you with learning right wouldn't you agree and let's move on to sentence pattern 24 and do a similar practice one more time 어떤 것 같아요 so 어때요 was how about doing this how about that Suggesting an idea, you can say, what do you think about this? By using 어떤 것 같아요. So I can say to you, 여러분, everyone, guys, uh, 이 수업 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think about this class? 여러분, 이책 어떤 것 같아요? 여러분, 저 어떤 것 같아요? I can ask you like this. Uh, 티티믹 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think of so and so? What do you think of me? What do you think of talk to me in Korean? What do you think of this coffee? 이 김치 커피 어떤 것 같아요? Something like that. Hmm. 제, oh yeah, that 제 발음이 어떤 것 같아요? 제 발음이 어떤 것 같아요? I think this part 어떤 것 같아요 is a good mini tongue twister that you can practice with. 어떤 것 같아요? 어떤 것 같아요? Say it really quickly. 어떤 것 같아요? 어떤 것 같아요? 어떤 것 같아요? <laughs> and more sentences. 이거 어떤 것 같아요? Repeat after me if you can't think of a good sentence to share right away. 이거 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think about this? What do you think about this place? 여기 어떤 것 같아요? 가격 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think about the price? 날씨 어떤 것 같아요? Look out the window for me. What do you think about the weather? 날씨 어떤 것 같아요? your house shopping or browsing. 이집 어떤 것 같아요? 이집 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think about this house? 저 코트, that coat 어떤 것 같아요? 이 아이디어 어떤 것 같아요? 제 머리 색깔 어떤 것 같아요? So if you dyed your hair, you can say 제 머리 색깔 어떤 것 같아요? Mm. Yeah, and you guys already wrote some more complex sentences, so therefore, yeah, 이, 이거, you can say 이거, 선물로 어떤 것 같아요? So here, you can add other elements like that. 이거 선물로 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think about this as a present? Or you can say, so and so 하기에, 어떤 것 같아요? So, for doing something. So, the last sentence was 여기, this place, 혼자, alone, 살기, living, 에, for living alone. What do you think of this place for living alone? 혼자 살기에 어떤 것 같아요? Is um, the tenth sentence. And I'm actually surprised that the eleventh quirky sentence is quite normal. 저 어떤 것 같아요? What do you think about me? 저 어떤 것 같아요? 
This is actually a hidden joke. Um, I don't know if you understand it already. Do you, do you know why there is a squid over here? Can anybody tell me why there is a squid? Yeah. 혹시, 혹시 아세요? Oh, I like this. <laughs> so, I saw this sentence. 네, 무 어떤 것 같아요? <laughs> my, my son, you can say 제무 어떤 것 같아요? Because um, it's ending with uh, 존댓말. So really quickly, um, this is something that you need to be careful with, but it's useful to know. A lot of cultures have specific metaphors, analogies, um, describing things, right? And 오징어 tends to be, happens to be something that people <laughs> compare <laughs> uh, people to if they are not so good looking. So it's often um, based on their own own appearances. So for example, you think, so I'm using myself as an example because I don't want to tease anybody um, for their appearance, but I, I say, I look, at, I look in the mirror, I look good today, and I, you know, I, I look decent. I, I'm a you know, decent looking Korean teacher and nobody would hate me for how I look, right? And then for something, I meet up with Park Seo-jun or who, who else is a very good looking person. I, I meet up with the members of BTS and then I already, you know, suddenly feel like I'm a ojinger, I'm a squid. So you pe people often say, 누구누구 옆에서, next to so-and-so, I felt like I was a ojinger. So ojinger, a squid, is often used as um, an idiomatic word to describe somebody who, who looks ugly or <laughs> looks less confident in their own looks. So that's why, um, yeah, this was not my idea per se, but the illustrator, because it's like so common in Korean culture to, to talk about ojingo as a slangy, I guess, expression, just draw ojingo, uh, asking, what do you think of me? So yeah, so, you will see this now that you know. The more you know, the more you see. Okay, so that's why Ojingo is there. All right, and then here, lastly, I just want to introduce this one as one last example. Um, you start from shorter ones, shorter sentence patterns. Like we even started with so and so yeyo. You know, if you can even call it a pattern. You know, it is a pattern, but it's a very short pattern. But as you progress through the book and you, as you, you know, learn more and more, you see a much longer sentence pattern. Pattern number 74 is so and so 으려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? So it means, in order to do so and so, what should I do? So please repeat after me. 예약하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? And one way that you can train yourself to speak better is this repeated portion, you know, the pattern portion. Say it many, many times until you get really, really good at it. So so and so 려면 because there, there can be many verbs, you can say 하려면. So let's go with the hada verb. 하려면, 하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 어떻게 해야 돼요? Start with smaller chunks. 어떻게, 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 어떻게 해야 돼요? 해야 돼요? What should I do? What should I do? How should I do it? 어떻게 해야 돼요? 하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? So 예약하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? What should I do in order to make a reservation? What should I do to make a reservation? 예약하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 반품, return, uh, product. 반품하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 반품하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? Already a tongue twister. Um, 안 넘어지려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? What should I do to not, you know, trip, not fall over? Like, maybe you can say that as you are learning how to ride a bike. 
안 넘어지려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? Or to walk on stilts or you know, monocycle or something? 빨리 외우려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? What should I do to remember or memorize quickly? So you can study with these commonly used patterns. And then here, the last sentence. Let me check the last sentence. Aha. Uh -huh. 여기서 여기서 탈출할 하려면 여기서 탈출하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? So they are, I don't know, some in a closed elevator or something. What should I do to in order in order to escape from here? Was our last sentence, the eleventh quoted sentence. All right. So let's go back to. Today's topic, study, studying with commonly used sentence patterns. Let's wrap it up with a Q&A session. If I missed a, an important question earlier, please repeat your question here so that I can answer everything quickly. So when you want to study with commonly used sentence patterns, it's a good idea because you can uh, improve your speaking really, really quickly and these sentence patterns that you got used to over this process will come up very frequently in other like materials that you use and also um, you can use our book 1100 Short and Useful Korean Phrases for Beginners which is available by clicking on the link in the description or you can study with any material you have and find your own pattern to study with next, okay? And questions, please. Let me scroll through the comments and say, hmm, here, this is a good question. How would I say why not in Korean in a response? Um, I, I uh, it's a response I use on a daily basis, so I'm just wondering, um, how I would say that in Korean. So, um, why not? There can be many ways. Why not? So, it depends on the question itself. Uh, 이거, 이거 할 거야? Like somebody asked you, are you going to do this? And why not? You're going to say, um, 해, 해, 해 or, uh, 안 할, 음, 해보, 어, 해, 해보려고, 해보려고. I'm gonna do this. Or it can be, there's no like, 왜안 왜 안 돼? Or 왜안 해? You wouldn't necessarily say along the lines of like, literally why and not. You're gonna like, you wanna say things along the lines of, I might as well. So and so. That's my answer. There can be many things you can say, but just look for expressions that you can say, I might as well try. Uh, okay? Yeah, so you don't say like literally, 왜 and 아니요, 왜 안돼. Yeah, it often doesn't work. Um, are the sentences from this book based on the grammar points from Talk To Me in Korean? Uh, yes and no. Most of the sentences are going to be found in the grammar lessons, but not all of them because, so for example, the example we looked at, uh, so and so, 하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? The uh, pattern from unit 74 that we looked at like five minutes ago, that's not like one um, specific individual lesson in our curriculum, but it's a combination of various elements that we cover in our curriculum. Hmm. Thank you for this question. FLJ says, uh, thank you for all you do. What's your advice to improve vocabulary of a new language? And we actually covered this topic in our previous weeks live class so next last week so please watch that one if you haven't it's going to be about how to improve your vocabulary in general but uh, in a summary i suggest that you make every new p 
piece of information, new vocabulary knowledge, meaningful to you. So either by breaking things apart and finding the elements that you already know or making sample sentences around it. So you have to attach your um, emotions and meaning to the new vocabulary. Otherwise, you will forget everything in time, I think. Hmm. Okay, here I have a question. Let me just take a screenshot of um, all the questions that I will answer and um, the rest I will have to push over to the next live class. What's the schedule for the live classes? Um, we, you can see the schedule for our live classes on our YouTube community page and we'll post it again to make it clear. Here, a few questions. Oops. Wait, don't scroll up. Um, this is not a question that I can answer right away, but I will share it anyway. Okay. Yeah. And lastly, this one. All right. Thank you for the questions. Let me briefly answer everything really quickly before we wrap up because we've been live for already 70 minutes. Is it very common and perfectly acceptable to swap around sentence structures in conversations? I often hear people ending their sentences with the topic, maybe like 먹었어 나는. And it is, yes, very, very common and perfectly acceptable only in spoken Korean um, because they're just spitting out words as they come to their mind, right? So it's okay. You don't have to go back to the beginning of the sentence and rephrase your sentence right away. Um, so yeah, 먹었어 나는. So 나는, you can say 나는 점심 먹었어. In casual language, I had my lunch, you know, but you can say 나는 먹었어 점심. Like you said 나는 먹었어, I ate, but then you think, oh, I should probably add what I ate. So you'd say 점심. 점심 먹었어 나는. You said, I had lunch, had lunch and then you think, as an afterthought, oh, I should probably add that I ate. I don't know about other people. Or uh, you can say, 나는 어, 점심 나는 먹었어. You can even say like that, 점심 as for the lunch, I ate it. So it's possible because particles are, even though, even if they're omitted after like 점심, particles are there to glue them together, even invisibly. And is to talk to me in Korean grammar lessons enough to express anything you want to say in day-to-day -day conversations? I would say mostly enough. Um, of course, you would need vocabulary on the side and lots of practice, but we, um, in the curriculum, in the 10 level curriculum, we give you most of what you need and even with our grammar curriculum alone, because you will also have other sources of input. You're not gonna you know, block out every other media and just study with Talk To Me In Korean, right? You're gonna be listening to Korean songs, watching Korean dramas and movies. So that is why you can still have no major problem with day-to-day -day conversations just with our Talk To Me In Korean curriculum if you have other input and practice regularly. And could you tell us anything about upcoming books? I really find them useful and helpful and would be very interested in a short and useful phrases part two. You mean part two, a sequel to this book, right? Um, can I tell you anything about our upcoming books? I need approval from Kyunghwa. I need approval from many people to share any information, but I can tell you that we have some really, really, really exciting things coming, books and more. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. So in the meantime, prepare. 
by finishing all the books that there are, all the books that we currently offer before our new upcoming things are launched so that you will have time, you know, you, you need to digest what you already ate for breakfast before you can have a really large lunch, right? So <laughs> prepare by finishing all the books, all the courses, and yeah, 좋은 거 많이 만들고 있어요. 좋은 거 진짜 많이 만들고 있어요. So they're coming. Would it be better to learn and how uh, learn how to write in proper grammar or just learn how to speak it first? Hmm. I think you should do both, definitely. Just focusing on grammar, grammar, grammar is not going to automatically make you conversational. Likewise, I've seen so many people only focusing on speaking, 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 and they are even like anti-grammar, but then their sentences are all like just rubbish <laughs> because they just, you know, put words in random orders. So you need a balance between both. And Fierce Knight says, would you recommend shadowing Korean films or music? Hmm. I would recommend, um, recommend shadowing some films and some songs. Uh, we have a video by Yeji on how shadowing can help and how you can also do shadowing. And shadowing can be really useful, but some films are really like too advanced to try shadowing as a learner and some songs too. So pick the right um, songs and movies at like I wouldn't say for your level but yeah pick films that have good audio good enunciation okay so thank you for joining today everyone thanks for tuning in and please check our YouTube community tab for our upcoming schedule for the next live sessions and please as usual the best, way can, the best way you can learn Korean and also help us, support us uh, in our new projects is by visiting our website at talktomeinkorean.com and by looking around and um, subscribing and also using our books. And that way we will be able to continue providing good quality materials and lessons. 그리고 오늘은 전부 대체로 영어로 했지만 저희 웹사이트에 가시면 한국어로 대화하는 것도 정말 많이 어, 만들어 놓았어요. So we have made and prepared lots of Korean only conversation materials on our website. So go, go check those out too. 네, 그러면 우리는 다음 시간에 만나요. 감사합니다, 여러분. Have a good day. Bye bye.